Evening, tens of thousands of climate activists led by school students ditching classes for a cause have transformed the southeast, the state and the country. Record crowds have blocked streets, flooded cities and demanded action. But their targets are far from impressed. When do we want it? The battle cry of a climate army. Tens of thousands on the front line, Queen's Park, before advancing and taking Brisbane over. A marching legion led by the tiniest of climate warriors, kids in uniform. School's out, climate activism is in. Why should we study for a future that we might not even have? We're just concerned students who believe that it's our future and if the government's not going to do anything about it, we have to. Victoria Bridge shut down, the city flooded from the Treasury to Musgrave Park. Hard to miss and impossible to ignore. What do we want? Climate action! Students have the afternoon off school to be here and the support for that has been staggering from education unions, lecturers and even teachers. Mick, you're a teacher yourself, why do you support that? Uh, mate, we teach about social justice, equity and about doing right by your fellow man and there's nothing more important than this right now today. Across the CBD and across the country, Melbourne awash in a sea of protesters, Sydney transformed by its largest rally yet. Back home, Cairns, Townsville, the Gold Coast, the Sunny Coast. The locations varied, the message didn't. Droughts, heat waves, cyclones, fires, everything, it's terrible. But for politicians under fire, this is nothing more than wagging. Every kid that walks off school today to attend the climate change rally uh, should be penalised with detention or suspension. I think our kids should be in school uh, because we need better NAPLAN results. In school I'm learning about the effects of climate change and I'm learning that we need to do something. Importantly they did it within the law. There were no arrests, no fines and no violent incidents. Just some frustration from police and drivers. But in a little over two weeks, it'll be a very different scenario. The groups known for gluing themselves to roads during peak hour will be back at it every day over five days. According to them, they'll be taking the streets. And Andrew, if today's turnout is anything to go by police, we'll be up against it. That'll be a different take on it, won't it? All right, Adam, thank you. Queensland is watching the number one news hour.